What's up, ladies and G's? D1 here. Our return to YouTube is now. Okay, so we're back for the first. Uh, yeah, no, you probably didn't expect this. No Man's Sky. If it looks buggy as fuck, and stuttery, and just all kinds of crazy shit, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, this game, if you haven't heard on PC, is uh pretty trash right now. Uh, it makes me kind of sad. It was hard to get used to. Um, it gets a little better later in the gameplay, but for now, we're just going to have to deal with it. Um, hopefully, it gets a little smoother. I'll try and work out OBS settings on my part to make it as good as I can. I should have probably took the webcam off for this, but that's okay. I played for a few hours, and I just kind of let it roll um, just in case. So for this like tips and tricks uh, episode, I guess uh, I'm gonna tell you guys basically how to get off the first planet. Um, I was super overwhelmed with everything, and basically all you need to do is collect carbon, iron, and another goofy named material or resource. I forget what it's called. It's like her hermantide or something like that. I don't remember. And you're going to have to craft some stuff, which is also a little bit confusing in this game. Um, one, uh, like The three main tips I can tell you is uh, don't worry about getting too far away from your ship at the beginning. Because you can easily like charge your suit and all that stuff with like carbon and plutonium that you get. Um, carbon comes from the plants. That you see well most plants and animals you get carbon from and most of the iron that you get is from rocks so if you see any like rocks uh, that's where your iron's coming from um, and then here in a second you're gonna see like where plutonium comes from and this will charge a lot of your stuff um, both carbon and pl plutonium do it um, plutonium I think is a little more effective at it haven't really like gotten super into this game there's just so much to learn so quickly but basically you just want to go around and collect you some iron carbon and plutonium and then one of the main things you want to be looking out for is uh, it'll show up at the end of the video I guess I'll just talk about it later but <clears throat> you need heridium that's the one I was talking about and these car car tire what, what the fuck canty car car right cheats okay to make these things you'll see me fail here a few times but to make these things you need to go over like an open inventory slot and then click e and that like see this is like install technology so this is where you enhance all your stuff that you already have but to craft something like new and i think i did it uh once and i didn't realize how i did it i was just clicking buttons but on your ship I think you can do it in your inventory too. Is you just hit E, and you see me moving around like a, like an idiot. I didn't know what I was doing, but you hit E, and then that's how you actually end up crafting it. And you need iron, and uh, I think all you need is iron, for the car right sheets. Yeah, you need 50 iron, which is pretty pretty easy to get. I think you need a total of six of the car right sheets to make, and then you need some zinc too. Zinc you can find from like plants. I think you actually have to interact with it and not destroy it to, to actually get zinc. But it's fairly easy to do. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you guys to help you out to get you off the first planet? Um, I'm thinking. Sorry, I should have wrote a script for this. But, um, oh yeah. You, you're going to want to look out for these like giant like rectangle things that are glowing they kind of look like they're in a shield or something like they may respawn you'll see it here in a second um, but also one thing to, rem to remember is even after you've like you build your pulse drive and your thruster thing you have to charge them and you charge them with plutonium so that's what you need the crystals for So right here is one of the heridium like blocks I guess you want to call it where you can get a shit ton of it now this is what ends up like this 
ends up being the most important part of your ship. This will like make its thruster go. Now, I don't know if it's the same for everyone, but I assume that all of these resources are the same. So basically, like carbon, iron, and your heridium are basically what get you off the planet. Those three things. After you find those three things and then you create your car rights, you know, you want to make your make your stuff and then you should be good to go. Now flying your ship is kind of wonky at first, like it's kind of weird, I won't lie. It feels it feels almost like battlefield flying, like a plane, but I don't I don't know, it feels legit. Like but I think it's like the super low frame rates that I'm getting right now that make it harder. Like I'm super excited for like when this is smoothed out and I can get like 120 frames per second and I can jack up the settings a little bit. But I was playing on like all medium and it wasn't that pretty. I could see where this game could be like super good looking and super smooth. Like where you don't need a souped up graphics card to run it. But at the same time it can look like really stylized and really just, I don't know, really sleek looking I think. Uh, I think the inventory is kind of a mess but it's clever at the same time like y you can do so many things with your inventory that like just that I figured out in the first two hours that's just crazy um, but I don't know I'm really enjoying this game um, I hope you guys learned something or found something useful if you did let me know um, if you have anything to contribute for getting like any tips for getting off the first planet uh, put them down in the comments. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Uh, I really look forward to playing this game and making some more uh, some more videos about it. Peace, guys.